November 26, 1985, My Little Pony Auditions. Uh, subspecies, Unicorn. The part of Buttons. Nancy Cartwright, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but um, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that um, is creeping into my window? It's uh, blocking the sun. Sorry. E.J. Ward, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely, it truly is. The way you have with flowers, it's ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that is creeping into my window? It's blocking the sun. Sorry. Jeannie Elias, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, I, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but um, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that um is, well, you know, it's creeping into my window. It's um blocking the sun. Sorry. Sherry Lynn, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. Well, it truly is. The way you have with flowers is just ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, um, now I hope you don't mind my saying this, but uh, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that, you know, it's, it's kind of creeping into my window? It's blocking the sun. Sorry. Ellen Gerstel, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely, it truly is. And the way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. <laughs> now, uh, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but uh, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that um, is creeping into my window? It's uh, blocking the sun. <laughs> Sorry. Judy Carlisle, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, um, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but uh, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that's um, creeping into my window? It's blocking the sun. Sorry. Katie Lee, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. Oh, it truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. <laughs> now, um, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but um, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that is creeping into my window? It's blocking the sun. Sorry. Susan Blue, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. Oh, it truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. <laughs> now, um, I, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that is creeping into my window? It's blocking the sun. Sorry. Mona Marshall, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. You know, the way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. <laughs> now, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but, um, well, could you possibly do something about that ivy of yours? It's, um, creeping into my window. <laughs> Blocking the sun? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Susan Silo, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely, it truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, uh, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but uh, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that uh, is creeping into my window? It's uh, blocking the sun. Sorry. Jill Wayne, take one. Gee whiz, Posy, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, uh, 
I hope you don't mind my saying this, but mm, could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that is creeping into my window? It's uh, blocking the sun. Sorry. Rusie Taylor, take one. Gee whiz, Posey, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours? It's creeping into my window, kind of blocking the sun. Sorry. Sarah Partridge, take one. Gee whiz, Posey, your garden is ever so lovely. It truly is. The way you have with flowers is ever so amazing. Why, you must have a green hoof. Now, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but could you maybe do something about that ivy of yours that is creeping into my window? It's, uh, blocking the sun. Sorry. November 26th, 1985, My Little Pony Auditions, Subspecie, Unicorn, The Part of Galaxy, Nancy Cartwright, Take One. Mark my words, Jubilee, we'll be meeting Og again soon, if not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones, I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. B.J. Ward, Take One. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Version 2. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Jeannie Elias, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Jerry Lynn, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs. And they don't bode well for any of us. Ellen Gerstel, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs. And they don't bode well for any of us. Jody Carlisle, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs. And they don't bode well for any of us. Katie Lee, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again very soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Susan Blue, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Mona Marshall, take two. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. Oh, I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Susan Silo, take two. 
Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Arg again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Jill Wayne, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Brucey Taylor, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. Sarah Partridge, take one. Mark my words, Jubilee. We'll be meeting Og again soon. If not tonight, then before the next full moon. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen the signs, and they don't bode well for any of us. November 26, 1985, My Little Pony Auditions. Uh, subspecies, Unicorn, the part of Ribbon. Nancy Cartwright, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time. And Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. B.J. Ward, take one. Oh, don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time. And Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad. But I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Jeannie Elias, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Sherry Lynn, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and, well, Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Ellen Gerstel, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know that it was close to Molly's dinner time, and... And Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad. But I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Jody Carlisle, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time. And Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad. But I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Katie Lee, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad. But I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Susan Blue, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Mona Marshall, take one. Oh, don't be blue, Cupcake. You see, it's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time. 
and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Oh, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Susan Silo, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Jill Wayne, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me. Rusie Taylor, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad. But I also know that Megan understands. You trust me. Sarah Partridge, take one. Don't be blue, Cupcake. It's not your fault. You didn't know it was close to Molly's dinner time, and Megan knows you didn't mean to spoil her appetite. Now, don't try to hide it. I know you feel bad, but I also know that Megan understands. Trust me.